confine a particle to move on a sphere, okay, on the surface of a sphere of radius r. So again, we're going to say potential energy is zero on the sphere, infinite elsewhere. What's the Schrodinger equation for this? A cat equals negative h bar squared over two times the mass times second derivative with respect to x plus second derivative with respect to y plus second derivative with respect to z. That's your Hamiltonian. And your Schrodinger equation is h hat psi equals e psi. And because of the symmetry of this problem, it's more convenient to express this problem in terms of spherical polar coordinates. We talked about spherical polar coordinates earlier this semester. Makes things a lot simpler mathematically if you use spherical polar coordinates in this particular case. So our spherical polar coordinates, just to review, are r, theta, and phi. And they're defined this way. If this is your point right here, x, y, z, okay, you project, you do a perpendicular projection on the z-axis that gives you a z. Uh, so r is the distance from the origin to the point. The angle that you have to sweep to get from the z-axis to the point, to that, to that radius vector, that is your theta, okay? Now, another way of looking at it is if you imagine your, your sphere as the Earth, okay, and let's say this is the point on the Earth you're interested in, right? Starting from the North Pole on, at the prime meridian, you travel down towards the equator, okay? The angle that you have to cover in order to get to the same latitude as your point, that would be your theta. The angle that you have to sweep got coming from the North Pole, from the Z, positive z-axis. Right? Now, if you do a projection of your point on the xy plane, perpendicular projection. Okay, so this is your projection on the xy plane right here. You measure the angle between that projection and the x-axis, that is your phi. Okay? And using the Earth analogy, Okay, so once you get to the same latitude as your uh, point on the prime meridian, then you travel around that latitude until you get actually get to the point. The angle that you'll have to cover starting from the prime meridian up to that point will be your phi. Okay, so that's the angle from the x-axis. And r is just the distance from the center of the earth in this case, in this analogy. So anyway, you should just be able to work out the, 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 the relationships between r, theta, and phi with x, y, and z. You can see here that z over r is just cosine theta. So z is r times cosine theta. Right. Now this projection right here is r sine theta. So r sine theta cosine phi will give you x, and r sine theta sine phi would give you y. 